So let me start with a question. If you've ever had back pain, raise your hand. Okay, that's a good question. If you believe the literature, about 80% or four out of five of you raised your hand, not surprising. On any given day, I'm not gonna ask you how many of you have back pain now, but about one third is the point prevalence. Uh, so on any given day, about one third of you have back pain. And the reality of back pain is that most of us don't really have constant back pain. It comes and goes. And among all episodes of acute back pain, fortunately, 80% will resolve. And half uh, with just conservative treatment, watchful waiting, NSAIDs, uh, behavior modification, et cetera. But it comes back within six months uh, and, and more than half. And in about 7%, it never goes away. So nationwide, uh, back and neck pain represent the second most common reason for seeing a doctor after the common cold. Uh, it is a source of tremendous expense to the US healthcare system. Most estimates range about 30 billion, that's direct costs, 85 billion if you include lost work, uh, dollars in the US alone spent each year. If you look at Medicare data, the prevalence is growing. And the rate of imaging is also growing with the prevalence. So that's the top chart showing you over time Medicare imaging rates uh, for MRI for back pain. And following imaging, the rates of surgery are also increasing. But unfortunately, neither imaging nor surgery is really addressing the problem. 